morning guys so we've just left the caravan and we're making our way up to the shops because we're going to buy a disposable barbecue because we're making our way down to the beach so we're going to have a walk to new Quay. i think there's a coastal route that we want to take <laughs> Don't get anything like that, it's just like diluted chunks. Oh, yeah, we've had that before. <laughs> so it's always diluted. Experience, Stephanie. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Three stars. Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's alright. That's a good one. Did Stephanie do? Dish. No, not one. Three. They make you twinkle right. Guys, you had to jump in there and look at the ice. That was a one star for me. Taste the popcorn. Or? So she's trying to first cost that, Lucy, because. It's got coffee just in, guys. Milk. It's just milk. Yeah. Do you want a tiny little bit of popcorn syrup in there? Do you want Stephanie think it's got no, no coffee in it? There, no coffee. Just popcorn. It's, it's like, like, it's like popcorn and milk. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is what it's like. It's like you put some ice. It's bad parent, isn't it? Milk. <laughs> <laughs> you put some milk and some ice in a cup and say, oh, that's a popcorn. So you just follow the sign by the looks of it to get to the beach and New Key. We came up this way the other day. Uh, when we came a different way back up from the beach, we came up this way, and I'm guessing to New Key, it's this way. Well, look at this one. I know, beautiful, oh, isn't it? Little look at this. Over there. Beautiful, that, isn't it? Really, <laughs> she doesn't like us. She's been put on a pram. So, as we were walking, Khaleesi wanted to walk independently. Then she gets halfway through it. And she came on to pick it up and we're like, well, we can't pick you up and just carry you. We've got the pushchair as well. So we decided to put on our pushchair and she doesn't like it. Look at that. Stunning. I think I've been prickled on the leg. I'm getting itchy. Yeah. So the sat nav does say that you have to like go all the way like the 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 vehicle would take you basically back up on the top road. And it's a 22 minute walk from there. So if you do get fooled by the sat nav. If you've heard it yet first guys, you can get to it on this lovely little coastal path. And I think it's going to take you about 10 minutes maybe, so half a walk. It's like you can actually hire this place as well. There's like a cottage to hire. There's a telephone number there. And then you can just sit there, have your food and then obviously you've got a beautiful view of New Quay. But look at the coastline guys, stunning the coastline from here. Check out that site as well Stephanie. I mean I've been out a few times with my drone and everything but what a stunning location. And then you met with all these colourful houses guys. I like the fact that you can get a new key from the Haven site. I like it when we go to Havens or holiday parks where there's actually stuff that you can do that you can just like walk to though. Um, yeah, there was lots to do in Primrose, wasn't there as well, on your doorstep. Walk to the little town. Walk to the little town and stuff like that, I like it when you can do that. Like Berwick, you can walk to Berwick's little town. So we've got like a little pub, sports park here, I think there's a pub and restaurant in the corner as well. We've got like things for like swimming and buckets and spades, footballs, more little stuff there. Free Willy, Crocodile, if you want to buy that. <laughs> oh, it's just a camping fun. Oh, it's a finishing store, isn't it? Outdoor furniture. Lots of parking here as well, isn't it? We just yeah, drove past a big car park up the top. I'm quite enjoying the walk. I think it was a good little walk. It is, yeah. Good choice. Like you know, there's another pub there as well. There's plenty of bars now. If you want to come up for a few drinks, check out that holiday lake, guys. Beautiful. They're like a barbecue and everything going there. They've got. Looks like a little hot tub there. Looks like it'd be a nice holiday lake. That one. 
It's a great location as well. Uh, looks like there's ice cream shop over there, gift shop and stuff, cash machine if you need cash. Hotel as well over there. It's pretty cool. That's what I love about these places, a history board. That's the black line that we passed when we were walking down. What's this? So um, houses that are on the top where you walk past. So they got another restaurant there, and then I think this is your chippy, your fish and chip shop. Pretty good. It's got a lot, hasn't it, down here? Got Yeah. Boat trips, fish and chips, hotels, restaurants. So one of the things that the kids love doing when we go out and they've been dying to do is go crab picking or crab fishing. Um, we bought some bait from the shop up on the caravan park but there's places that you can buy the bait from down here as well and the bucket and stuff like that. But honestly guys, they absolutely love doing it. So we've left the pier, um, we didn't realise we were actually crab fishing right where the boat takes off to go and see the dolphins. When people were coming off the boat they were like, oh, no dolphins this time. Well we did see a bird that looked like a dolphin, somebody said. <laughs> so what we've done anyways, we've come over to the other side where the beach is, right here. And we're going to have a little barbecue down here on the beach. It's a lovely day for it. So this is New Key Harbour. New Key Harbour. The beach is pretty full of it. Yeah, yeah. Like oh. Ice cream and stuff, yeah. Deck chairs again, higher, I think. Yeah, it is higher. Yeah, deck chair higher. What is it, Khaleesi? Crab. She's saying turtle for the crab. <laughs> cook, 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 crab. Crab. Khaleesi is currently drawing. <laughs> oh, thank you. What colour is that one? Red. Yeah. Red. Good girl. Wow. <laughs> is that nice? Now we're going to bury him and turn him into a mermaid. There we go. <laughs> Now making our way over from New Quay to West Quay Haven Holiday Park. The tide has actually came up. We're kind of going to come a different route. You literally just walk around there, but it's a little bit narrow because we have got the push chair. But certainly, see as you can see a lot of sand, so just think it's going to be okay to walk it. And it does beat going up this mega flipping hill up here. It's a big hill to get up to walk along past those houses up there. So you can't get access to it. There's a little short, little narrow bit of sand few bumpy rocks. You can also get a push chair through as well, just gotta like take your time kind of thing. But yeah, what a beautiful place to come guys. Key West and then New Key, just in that direction. I noticed this the other day that the beach that we went to yesterday 
was full of the seaweed stuff but over at New Quay, the beach on that side preferably we think is better for swimming in So it's a little bit later on guys so I don't know if Sean's told you but we've actually walked along to the beach that is a caravan site at West Quay Haven and it was perfectly safe to do so um, and it was like really a short walk but Dion, Caleb and Sean are currently in the sea now just going for a little swim well, me and Khaleesi are up here. I'm currently sunbathing for a little. Hey, I? Yes, Khaleesi still hates. Hi. Oh, thank you, sunglasses. Um, Khaleesi still absolutely hates to see. I try to take her in the little shallow end that was on that beach. Mm -hmm. Oh, you give them a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. She still hates to see. She cries. She doesn't want to be in it. I think it's the sound. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but she loves the sand. Now, when she was younger, she used to hate the sand, but now she loves the sand. Don't you? You've got seaweed. Seaweed. Hey, throw it away, dirty. Throw it away. Throw it away. <laughs> but that beach, UK, oh, honestly, it's a stunning beach, guys. The kids are full crabs today. Yeah, no. And the sea was literally so warm. Me and Dion spent a good nearly two hours in there just swimming and catching the waves and stuff like that. It was really, really fun. Um, Dion's just been sunbathing on the beach as well. We had the barbecue, food was absolutely delicious. But this is the beach at one now, the beach at Haven. We're literally the same spot that we were in, I think it was yesterday's vlog or the day before's vlog. Um, this beach has got like a couple more stones and pebbles and stuff like that uh, so it's not as nice as New Kay's beach I don't know how much we've actually vlogged like if this will be a short vlog or not because obviously we're just enjoying ourselves guys wow and we're just getting the camera out now and again yeah no that's so beautiful such a shame that we have to go home tomorrow honestly I could stay down in South Wales for another two weeks there's still so much that we need to do down here as well have you had a fun day? <sighs> yeah she's got sand everywhere you need to go in the shower tonight she absolutely hates the shower um, but yeah I can't believe that we're going home tomorrow I don't want to go home tomorrow Sean was like should we just do a little stop in North Wales and break the driver but I don't know guys. So the water temperature is absolutely beautiful as well. Like I've got to say it's gonna be over 10 degrees if not plus. It's so warm. Anyways guys, uh, um currently cooking tonight's tea. So we're having the rice dish. Absolutely love this. This is the second time we've had it this week. Um in case you haven't seen that video. This is what we're cooking. So good. But while I'm doing this, the kids are cooking some cinnamon rolls. So you guys have seen this before, but this is food for tonight. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Stephanie. This is how Dion's cinnamon rolls turned out. Is that nice? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> lovely for pudding. Say thank you, Dion and Caleb. Caleb, yes. It's the first time having a cinnamon roll. Nice. Good morning everyone. So we officially leave this place today but oh, honestly what another gorgeous day we're having. Just currently having me breakfast out on the steps outside because it's too beautiful not to guys. So it's currently half ten and we are back in UK. This is such a lovely town guys. We're going to go and book our boat trip. We don't know what time the boat trips are on. And then if we've got a little time be before the boat trip, I think we'll have a little walk around because there's loads of like nice little uh, gift shops and stuff like that. Like a couple of gifts for friends and family. So we've just booked the dolphin trip. So there's three different ones. 
one is for an hour where you have to stay seated. It's £15 an adult and then £10 a child. The second one is for only 12 passengers um, and you can walk around this boat. They're uh, called the dream catcher, that the one. The dream catcher, that's Pilot 20. Board as well. No, that's the third one. Is that the third one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's £20 an adult and £15 a child. And then they have another one which is an hour and a half which has a toilet on there and I think she said that was £15 an adult and then £10 a kid. I can't remember. Exactly we just went for the first one because we went for the first during one, yeah. 20 minutes yeah. she said it was more appropriate for uh, families and yeah. stuff um, and we're not too bothered about the toilet. Yeah, and we don't really mind just sitting there and not I like having don't to stand walk up. Around on a small <laughs> walk in we were watching one yesterday, guys, and it was going, whoa, whoa, yeah, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I fancy going on that. Um, but yesterday, when we walked past, they said that they had seen dolphins, and I was just asking, like, what's the chances of seeing dolphins? She said 70% chances of seeing dol dolphins. She kind of promised anything because obviously it's wildlife, you know. Um, and then she was saying that they have the biggest bird colony here on this one as well. Biggest bird colony in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think of puffins because they take you out to these like islands kind of thing, like, like like small like stacks. I think they are. Yeah. And she said that because the wildlife is protected here, they can only they What's can't the... chase the dolphins, but they can only like if they see any just sit and wait there for like 10 minutes and then they have to move um but yeah i'm really excited to go on this boat trip guys yeah i look forward to it definitely fingers crossed we get to see some dolphins i really hope we get to see some dolphins yeah, that'll be, be so that'll cool be nice, so nice. that will like be the perfect ending we wait down here for the boat to arrive this is where we were yesterday we spent the whole day at this beach we had a barbecue we went swimming we did some crab picking um it was amazing guys this water is so clear and lovely and warm it was um the what the beach that you have at the haven is a little bit more murky which is so strange because it's kind of like the same beach then i think this is our little boat here emerald six the other one was massive yesterday wasn't it i don't know which one that was i think that one was the blue one yeah so we're boarded the boat um we're just waiting for everybody else to come up on board before we take off Little Khaleesi is just chilling, lovely here between mum and dad. And we sit like pretty close to the back we have as well, so not too far. Dion's got the bigger seat up there and a better view. There again, the two. We've just got on the boat and we've already seen them. <laughs> <laughs> Caravan Park is just over there. We were swimming over there yesterday. Stephanie was actually swimming in a little um, harbour. Just where the dolphins were. Just where the dolphins were, me and Dad just swimming right there. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. What a lovely experience. I know. First time as well. Take that off our bucket list. <laughs> just got to swim with them next, don't you? Yeah. That's what you got to do. Me and Dad, could have literally jumped in there, couldn't you, with them? Three recognised populations of bottlenose dolphins here, but of the three, the largest it is right here in Cardigan Bay. Now, Cardigan Bay itself is huge, so this is said to be one of the largest bays in all of the British Isles, stretching from Bunkley Island up in North Wales, all the way down then to Shrivelheaded Brookshire. Now, so far, there's been over 300 individual bottlenose dolphins that have been identified in the Cardigan Bay area. So it's actually considered one of the largest populations here in all of Europe. But then within the waters around
Tanuki, we do indeed have our very own locals, where we think we have numbers that are estimated, but we think between around 30 to 40 dolphins that will stay within around the 25 mile radius of Nuki Bay, pretty much all year round. It has two arrows pointing upwards, and that represents that it's a northerly cardinal marker, and it works in conjunction with an orange sign on the beach behind us about the 6 o'clock direction. And that is to indicate that there is a reef underneath these two points. It can become very treacherous to the seafaring vessels during low waters. So obviously this cardinal marker tells everybody to keep north of this point. But these are both incredible diving birds, hence the relation to the puppets. It is okay, so bottoms up and away they go under the water. Do you think so? Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? I think we're very lucky to get the bottom at the beginning. Just to think we could have seen him yesterday as well. How, how easy it is to see them from like the, the, the pier. Yeah. She I didn't see any both in the road, but... I know, but it was a nice boat trip, wasn't it? Was, yeah, very educational. Well, yeah. We finished with our boat trip, guys, and honestly, what an experience. We were just saying, like, even though we didn't see them literally on the boat, because you could have just seen them where we were standing to get on the boat, we didn't see any more, like, further out. I think it was... I see one or two. Yeah, do you think that's seen one or two? This way, no, we're not coming for both of them. Don't think keep coming up and down. And Come on. No, we're not, we're not wanting balls. Come on, we'll have a look in this other shop. Um, I definitely think it was still worth the experience because we were here yesterday and we heard that people didn't see any dolphins. So we were really, really lucky to see some on our actual boat trip. Now we're going to go to like the dolphin gift shop, have a look in there, maybe get something, the souvenir to remember our little boat trip when we actually seen dolphins that was amazing guys i kind of stopped smiling it's just made this holiday like a thousand pounds better so this is the dolphin watching um gift shop that i'm gonna go and have a look in what you got can you see you got a dolphin oh, oh give me kiss. kisses oh oh lovely Okay, so we've just been to the chippy to get some chips and stuff. And he says, can we have some butter? And he's like, butter? What, what's up? Like, what do you mean? I don't get you. So then he says, you mean like the scraps? Like the scraps on it. So he give you like a little separate bag, didn't you, for scraps? <laughs> they call scraps on yeah. But us northern, I was like, fish and chips isn't fish and chips without butter. Okay, down south, Stephanie, they don't eat the scraps. They got the scraps in the bin. <laughs> that was so funny. Station, guys, but how cool is this station? It's got like a little kids' arcade pump. This. Wow, what's this? Like a little mini one, especially for the little ones. Yeah. <laughs> After sitting that long in the car. <laughs> oh, I used to love these when I was a kid. I had one of these. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get myself a nice Fabio. Are you getting anything or not? Let's get a couple of cans of Red Bull. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know they're corner shopping, aren't they? Paper, paper. Edible beer band stuff. Yeah, oh look. The little, little lollies. <laughs> it's a pick a mix, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing, Kirisi? Oh, we've got a unicorn and a brush doll set. Yeah. I hope that it's got air. Sherbet or something. Yeah, like that. sherbet, that's what it Yeah, yeah it does look good. Perfect. Right, let's get back to the van before it all melts. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you finished your WH Smith shopping? Mm. Is that good? Yeah. 